My name is Titi, yeah, and I'm from Limpopo. Yeah, hey, we, we are people too, hey. <laughs> There's people from America, England, yeah, and Limpopo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's weird, like being from Limpopo, like I realized, I, saw, I started traveling a little bit, like recently uh, after, after the travel show, right? I started traveling a little bit, and I realized like Limpopo is not a world class city, right? And I realized this as soon as I landed in San Francisco. I landed in San Francisco and a woman came up to me and said, Hey, where are you from? I was like, I'm from South Africa. And then she got really excited. She's like, oh, no, 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 Cape Town. I'm like, no, I'm not from Cape Town. She's like, oh, no, no, Johannesburg. I'm like, no, I'm not from Johannesburg. I'm from Limpopo. <laughs> Here's when it got messed up, right? Because she looked at me and said, oh, <laughs> hey, I love those. Delicious. <laughs> but it's weird, like, like being from Limpopo, right? a lot of people, whenever you travel, they always ask us about the safaris. Né? Whenever I go, everyone, hey, I heard you guys have good safaris, good safaris, good safaris. I didn't even know what a safari was, you know, like, I thought a safari was a brand of dry fruits, you know, like, it's like, hey, they're doing well, hey. Eh? I don't know what these things were like, and then when I get there, and I always, I oh, and it's always like white people that always ask me about these safaris, right? And I always tell them, Emana, yeah, we've got good safaris, we've got the Kruger National Park, you know, but but please don't go, because in our in our safaris we've got lions, and our lions, eh? They eat white people. <laughs> Guys, our lions eat white people. You? Have you guys been seeing the stories lately? In the last five years, there's been five lion attacks at the Kruger National Park. Five white people gone. One lion also went, but you know, taking one for the team, you know. <laughs> and uh, like whenever I see these stories, whenever I see these stories, I get sad. Like whenever I see another lion eat another white person, you know, I always get sad, you know. Another lion eat another white person. But, but, but it's not the first time. And it's not the second time. And it's probably not the last time. Because with all these lions eating white people, maybe, maybe white people are just delicious, you know? Because <laughs> guys, you need to give credit where credit is due. If you are delicious, you are delicious. Because people are trying to make this thing a racial thing. Guys, a lion knows nothing about race. A lion does not know the difference between black and white. A lion only knows two things, delicious meat and non-delicious meat. And white people have been eating delicious things their whole life. So what does that make? <laughs> so what does that make them? Delicious. <laughs> and I'm sure this lion grew up having no idea how this guy tasted, you know? But you know, sometimes you love to let young animals lick your face. And that's how that lion tasted. That day, that lion was like, mm, 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 mm. I am going to eat this man. And then it went back to its friends, and they're like, Impala is like, mm -mm. They're like Springbok is like, mm -mm. Bass. We need to indulge on bass. <laughs> guys, raising a lion is a crazy thing, guys. Hey, hey, hey. Raising a lion is like adopting a fully grown child soldier. <laughs> From Sierra Leone. And then expecting to feel safe in your own household. You can't even reprimand that guy. Hey, man, this is... Hey, 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 hey. Where's the diamond? <laughs> Crazy thing, man. But you know, guys, that lion deserves props, guys. Hey, that lion deserves props. Because that lion, guys, had to pretend for four years 
that it doesn't want to eat somebody it wants to eat. I'm sure that lion was posing in pictures like, mm. <laughs> You know, sometimes when there's guests around, you want to show off with your animals, like, come, Shamba boy, come, Shamba. The lion's name was Shamba. Come, Shamba boy, come, Shamba boy. Show them you can sit down. Show them you can sit down. That lion was like, ah. <laughs> so naive. Because, <laughs> guys, I know the pain. I know the pain of pretending like you don't want to eat somebody you want to eat. They I've been on a date. <laughs> She's like, baby, let's get dessert. I'm like, ah. <laughs> so naive. <laughs> <laughs> That's a creepy joke. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so weird. Right? It's so weird. Like, I, I, like you know, I'm, I live in Johannesburg now. I live in Johannesburg. And I'm a firm believer that if you live in a place, you must do as the people there do, right? So now I live in Joburg, and I'm trying to do Joburg things, you know. And I'm trying to, you know, do Joburg things. You know, but my cousins always come from Limpopo, you know. <laughs> come and do Limpopo things inside my house, you know. <laughs> you know, trying to hold me back, you know, like... <laughs> like, guys, I'm not an angry person. I'm not an angry person at all. But who puts sugar inside an aromat tin? Like, You know, that's really confusing, right? Because now, you know, you usually use, you usually use teaspoons to, you know, to measure your tea. Now we have to shake our sugar inside our tea. <laughs> oh, got like two shakes and a half, that boy! <laughs> <laughs> got like two shakes and a half, you know? <laughs> you have to talk like this when you do that, you know? Got like two shakes and a half, that boy! <laughs> <laughs> it is weird, right? And now, like, I have enemies in my life, you know, and I've never had enemies in my life. Like, when I came back, you know, I have enemies in my life, guys, you know, but I have to have this enemy, and it's my cousin, you know. You know, it's not right to have enemies in the household, you know. But I have to have this enemy, you know, guys, I caught my cousin red-handed. Yeah? I caught my cousin red-handed using my vasla. <laughs> Do you know how violating that is? And when I caught him, he had soap in his eyes, so to wash his face, to see me catch him. And then he still has the nerve to say, Eita? I'm like, Futek, you know, like. <laughs> if you don't know what a Vaslap is, a Vaslap is like a self washing apparatus, you know. <laughs> it's like a face cloth, but for the whole tender, you know. <laughs> yeah, toes included. <laughs> you, know, you know the pain of knowing that your Vaslap is was someone else, guys? Yo! Because before you, your Vaslap knew nothing about gems. Because when you found your Vaslap, it was a baby, you know? And you taught it everything it knows about gems. Now it's behind your back washing other people. And you know how long it takes to personalize a Vaslap, guys? You know when you know your Vaslap is yours? When you know the physics of your own Vaslap. When you know what your Vaslap is going to do even before it does it. You know when you do this, sha. You know exactly where it's gonna land. Ta! That's your Vaslab. Now you have to retire Vaslab, you know? At its prime, you know? And you know how you know your Vaslab is retired? You now you know your Vaslab is retired. When it's on that big pipe behind the toilet. That's a retired Vaslab. Even when you lift it up, it stays like this. Because it doesn't want to do anything further. <laughs> and that's why, that's why, like, guys, that's why, like, growing up, like, I was always the smallest child in my grandmother's house. And that's why, like, I'd never fight with anyone, you know. We had baths in the house. And that's why, like, I don't think, like, I'm cut for, for like, gangsterism and all these things. Because, you know, I used to take baths growing up. And, and there's nothing less gangster than a bath, you know. <laughs> like, even in the movies, that's why they use showers, you know. Because you can still threaten someone's life inside a shower. You guys have seen the movies, you know the guys are naked, 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 naked. But still gangster. <laughs> See them there in the scene like, Eta? Shh. I heard what you said about me. I'm gonna kill you. Right? <laughs> gangster, right? You can't do that inside a bath, you know? Because even getting into the bath is the most emasculine thing ever. 
Because no one looks gangsters like a Eta? <laughs> Gonna kill you. <laughs> no one looks gangster like Because like, sometimes you don't even know the situation. Sometimes the water is too hot. Right? <laughs> but you are not worried about that. You are worried about the threat, right? But you don't know the situation there. Like, now you are the Eta? It's like, ah, it's fine, bro. <laughs> and now, and, and there's one rule, right? There's one rule in jail that I recognize, you know? And that's the rule that you mustn't expose your, your behind, right? <laughs> and now, if the water is too hot, right? now you have to balance the situation. And where are the taps? They're yeah, down there, right? Now you are busy there trying to balance the situation, doing that thing. And while you're doing that, there's another prisoner looking at you like, ah, so naive. Guys, that's my time. My name is Cici. You guys have been amazing. Shut up. I'm a cold dealer, cross my pain. I hustle, I'm rich. Blow thriller, I'm the torch that carry the game, the flame I throw.